Good day, everyone. My name is Jack Sauper, and I'm here for my WWE Payback 2015 predictions. And uh, apologies for not doing a Raw review this week. Um, you know, there was some stuff going on. And, nah, I'm just kidding. I couldn't be fucked. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so um, I'll talk a little bit about Raw. I'm pretty sh sure you can deal without a review this week. There's plenty of other YouTubers that do weekly Raw reviews. I promise I'll do a raw review this week. Promise. Um, but I'll talk about the only real important thing that was that happened on Raw, and that was Daniel Bryan relinquishing the Intercontinental Championship, which absolutely sucked. Um, I hate seeing Daniel Bryan injured. I love seeing him go out and compete because I do like Daniel Bryan. So seeing him just, you know, same thing that happened last year. He had to give up the WWE. World Heavyweight Championship to a neck injury. Now, here he is again with another injury. It just sucks, you know? And I hope Daniel can get back, you know, quicker than he did last time because we want to see him in the ring. But, you know, to be perfectly honest, um, if he does need to take a long time to get himself healthy and to get himself ready to compete for a long amount of time, then take all the time you need, buddy. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So into the predictions, of course. So the payback pre-show is the Ascension taking on a Macho Mandau and Curtis Axel. Is he Damien Sandow? And they're now called the Meta Powers. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, uh, what are they doing to poor Damien Sandow, you know? they. I heard they just gave him, you know, like a normal entrance that they did on uh, WWE.com. They had, like, an entrance video made for him. But they're doing fucking Macho Man, Dow. Please make this just a one-off thing. <laughs> Please. Because I, I don't want to see Macho Man and Hogan get together. Ugh. I mean, and, of course, the Ascension are trying to act like the Road Warriors with the face paint and all that. It just fucking sucks. Um, I see the Meta Powers picking up the win because Sandow and Axel are over, kind of, and no one gives a shit about the Ascension, poor fellas. Um, on to the actual show, we've got The New Day, Kofi Kingston and Big E versus Cesaro and Tyson Kidd in a 2 out of 3 falls match for the Tag Team Championships. This, I think this is going to be a great match, you know. Um, Kofi, um, last, at the last pay-per-view Extreme Rules, their match was match of the night, I thought it was an awesome tag team match. Now that this is two out of three falls, this is also, in my opinion, going to be match of the night. Um, it's, you know, Kofi Kingston's an amazing athlete. Big E's awesome for a big guy. And we all know Cesaro and my boy Tyson. They're phenomenal. Um, so they're going to put on a hell of a show, in my opinion. Who I think is going to win. I think the New Day is going to retain the championships. Because, you know, they won it. Like, three weeks ago, it'd be stupid if they lost to Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. Uh, actually, you know what? I wouldn't actually complain about it if their um, Cesaro and Kidd won. But my opinion is the New Day is going to retain. Next, we've got King Barrett. Is that his official name now? King Barrett? No longer bad news? I guess so. Versus Neville. Now, uh, these two have continuing from Extreme Rules when... Um, Fucking, they faced on the pre-show and never won. So, and of course, King Barrett did win the King of the Ring. Um, I think Neville's gonna win again. I wouldn't be surpri surprised if King Barrett got a win, but I, I think Neville should win this match. You know, he's a young upstart. Um, he lost in the King of the Ring final against Barrett. So, I think it makes sense to give Neville a win, in my opinion. You know, he's doing awesome, and an extra win for him at Payback would do him even more. Um, next up, we've got Dolph Ziggler versus Sheamus. No stupid kiss me arse stipulation, fella. Just a normal one-on-one -on -one contest. Uh, this is a confusing one. I feel um, Sheamus is going to win. I know I said that last month, and he didn't, but... I feel, you know, Sheamus is going to pick up the win here. Ziggler hasn't been looking too strong in this feud, in my opinion. Uh, I think Sheamus is going to win this match. 
Uh, next up, we've got a Divas Tag Team match, like I expected. Um, Naomi and Tamina Snooker versus the Bella Twins. So, yeah, Naomi um, has got a bodyguard now, Tamina Snooker. They're related because um, she's married to Jimmy Uso, I believe, um, and that's his cousin. So it kind of makes sense, you know. I, I understand where they come from from that. But uh, who I think is going to win? I say, because it's not a title match, I think Naomi and Tamina are going to win. Uh, you know, Bella Twins, you know, haven't been looking too strong in this. But, you, you know, I do believe um, Naomi and Tamina still are going to win because they're trying to book them really strong, and I think that would make sense if they did win. Uh, next up is the I Quit match for the United States title. John Cena versus Rusev. This is an easy one. Rusev's gonna win. No, of course Cena's gonna fucking win. It's an I quit match, guys. And Cena says never give up. It's his fucking marketing slogan, you know. Um, how do I think the match is gonna end? How do I think Rusev is gonna say I quit? The way I see it, go, I don't think Cena's gonna like um, make him beat him up to the point where he says no, I quit, I quit. Um, I think Lana's gonna get involved somehow. I think, um, you know, S Cena's gonna go, like, really sadistic and effed up, um, he's gonna, s and do something like that, and Lana's gonna say, well, Cena, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it, and all that stuff, and she says, Rusev quits, Rusev quits, and then Rusev's like, wait, what the fuck? And Cena r wins, and this will lead to, you know, Rusev possibly breaking up with Lana. A scenario I do see happening, maybe, like, after the match when she says, Rusev says, I quit. I uh, saying, oh, I'm looking out for your health, Rusev. And, of course, Rusev's pissed because he lost the match. And um, he's, she's, he's going to hit Lana, but then Cena comes in and makes a save or something like that. And then Lana turns face, so whip he. Um, yeah, Cena's going to win because he's John fucking Cena, and it's an I quit match. It's Cena's match. He's not going to lose. Uh, next up, we've got Ryback versus Bray Wyatt. Uh, this feud has been, uh, you know, I've... I was being optimistic going into this. I think, oh, it could be good. but And I still kind of am for the actual match. But the build-up has not been all that good, you know. Like, they could have done a lot better. Um, who do I think is going to win? I think Bray Wyatt's going to win. He needs to win. Ryback, you know, he has no purpose winning this, in my opinion. This feels like a match. Bray Wyatt needs to win because... He can't go from losing to The Undertaker at WrestleMania to losing to Ryback. So, yeah, Bray Wyatt, in my opinion, should be the winner and is my pick. Um, the main event is a fatal four-way match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, Seth Rollins versus Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns, Mr. Cocker's Fist, and versus Dean Ambrose. And if Rollins loses the championship... Kane will no longer be the director of operations. Of course, Kane shoving his nose into the main event, of course. But Kane hasn't really been annoying me as of late. You know, it wasn't like two or three months ago. It's like, oh, God, it's Kane. He's, uh, he's growing on me. He really is growing on me. Um, a lot more tolerable than he was two or three months ago. But... Rollins is going to retain the championship. It makes sense. Because they were building up Ambrose, you know, last week. He was the one, you know, looking strong. Everyone's on the ground and Ambrose is like, oh, look at me, I'm on top. And, but then again, they were in Cincinnati, Ohio. And that's where Ambrose is from. So they wanted to send the crowd happy, home happy. I kind of get that. But, um, yeah, this is going to, like I said before in previous videos, this is going to lead to a Rollins versus Kane match. Possibly at Money in the Bank. Uh, or maybe fucking Elimination Chamber. Because that's going to be a pay-per-view. Well, it's technically, it's not really a pay-per-view. It's more of a network special, in my opinion. Uh, so, it's going to be like Rollins, Orton Reigns, Ambrose, and two other fuckboys in the chamber. I heard they're going to do like a tag team one. It'll probably be New Day, Cesaro and Titan Kid, and Lucha Dragons. Maybe the meta powers. I hope not. That'd be stupid as fuck. Um, 
And I know they're doing one for the vacant I in a Connor Championship, which will possibly be made up of Bad News Barrett, Neville, Ziggler, Sheamus, and two other people. Um, yeah, you know, uh, Rollins is going to retain, obviously. There's no point for seeing Orton or Ambrose to win, even though I'd like Ambrose to win. There's no point in seeing Roman Reigns winning. I don't think any of us want to see that. But, uh, yeah, this is going to lead to a feud and money in the bank and into Battleground. And then Lesnar will probably return and face Rollins at SummerSlam. What happens then after that, I've got no idea. But, like I've said for the 10 millionth time, Seth Rollins is retaining. And, uh, yeah, overall, um, the guys I've picked to win are the Meta Powers. Fuck, I hate that team. New Day. Neville. Sheamus, Naomi and Tamina, Cena, Wyatt, and Rowan. So those are my picks to win. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like. Subscribe for because that would be awesome if you did. Uh, comment down below your predictions on Payback. Uh, make sure to check me out on Twitter and Instagram at JackmanLol31. And uh, I'll see you guys on... Sunday, Monday, whenever, for my Payback 2015 review. And I'll be possibly going on to a trip to Tweed Heads on Friday, and I'll be fi might be filming a vlog, I'll be going to SeaWorld, um, I'll be shopping, you know, doing a whole bunch of shit. So, might be a vlog, um, not this week, but next week. So, uh, yep, yeah, I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys will enjoy Payback, hopefully. Um, this show, I'm, I'm keeping my hopes, uh, somewhat low for this and hoping they surprise me like they did for WrestleMania, but I wouldn't really compare the show to WrestleMania. Anyway, see you guys later, and I am out in three, two, one.